David Dorn, I want to make sure that I have this right, is yeah. he was a police officer yes. in St. Louis, and then he switched over to another district, yeah. and he was not on duty. Uh, this night of the uh, the riots, the mm -hmm. looting. It's hard to kind of put these pieces together, but he was helping to protect a friend's business. Yeah, uh, That's what he was doing. People were rioting, looting, mm -hmm. and uh, he was shot dead by a rioter. He was shot dead by a looter, I believe, for a television. Wow. Some yeah, other type of consumer yeah, electronics. That's the word. Yeah. You know, I don't really necessarily know Hope that it matters. It. No, no, no. If it was a Vizio... I've heard Westinghouse may play a role in this. Westing? Is that still around? It's a big Westinghouse. Hopefully it's a smart TV. It's yes. not a Westinghouse. Um, and I warn you that uh, since everyone knows about the George Floyd uh, footage, and by the way, yeah. every single person here mm -hmm. said that was horrible, yeah. very tough to watch, that, poli that policeman acted well outside the realm of his authority, had horrible yeah. training, and should be held accountable. I want to be really clear. Yeah. That matters. We all agree. You had us on your side until you, until you started burning down other people's shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But since everyone has seen that footage, and it was disturbing, and I understand why, um, I think it's important that we show some of this footage. So I warn you of David Dorn, who was shot dead. And I think we have a censored version, uh, though you can find the whole version online. OG! 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 Come on, stay with me, OG! OG, stay with me! Stay with me, OG! Stay with me, OG! Come on, OG! Come on, OG! Come on, OG! Stay with me! Come on, OG. Come on, OG. Come on, OG. Stay with me. Come on, OG. Come on, OG. Come on, OG. Come on, OG. Damn, man. I was some TVs, cuz. I was some TVs, man. For real. It's somebody granddaddy, cuz. Man, f you, n***a. Jeez. It's like you just use a racial What y'all trying to do? F you talking about y'all kidding, man? I was some TVs, cuz. I was some TVs, cuz. You hear me? That's shit we could get, cuz. I was some TVs, cuz. Stop playing, man. OG, come on, OG. Come on, OG. Come on, this somebody granddaddy, cuz. I was some TVs. Call him, cuz. I was some TVs, cuz. Come on, cuz. Come on, man. We better than this, cuz. Over a TV, cuz. Over a TV, pop him, cuz. He gone, bro. He gone, bro. I was some TVs, cuz. OG, man, rest in peace, bro. It's nothing but love, bro. You good, bro. It's okay, bro. Just relax, bro. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. Oh, some TV, you was doing the right thing. You was doing the right old thing. He was trying to protect it, but at the same time, it's the wrong. It's too much going on for that, OG. Come on, OG. We better than that, OG. I think he do work here, man. He work here, man. I was some fucking TVs, man. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's enough. Jeez. Um, <sighs> yeah. 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 That's insane. Now, I know I tweeted about this quite a bit before, and I was accused of being, and we don't even know who, who, who killed that man. Yeah. Uh, could be white, could be brown, could be black, could be yellow. I don't care. And I don't care if you get mad that I said yellow as opposed to Asian American. A life was lost there. And if you look at my tweets, which were accused of being racist, I said, this is going to lead to more deaths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Please stop it. You can go to the tweets four or five days ago. You can go to the videos. You can go to last Thursday's show. I said, please, for the love of God, stop this. And this isn't the only black officer who's been killed, by the way. No. It's not the only person. Nope. It's not the only officer who's been killed. There have been many deaths. And we'll get into that tomorrow when we do the live fact check stream, because I think yeah. it's important to watch CNN yeah. and see if they discuss. I always hear peaceful protesters, peaceful protesters. People. All the time. Yeah, maybe, they're, maybe the majority of protesters are peaceful. OK, let's assume that's true. Doesn't change the fact that everywhere there have been protests, riots have ensued everywhere. Outside of, I believe, Frisco. But that's because they know that Frisco don't play like that. No, nope. <laughs> they don't go to the suburbs. They so. know what's up. But not a good idea. why don't we ever hear most officers peaceful, most yeah. officers law abiding? And yeah. I understand yeah, we have a problem exactly. with militarization of the police, of them. but why don't we talk? If you are to compare the percentage of protesters who are peaceful, the percentage of protesters who are committing crimes, and I don't just mean shooting cops like we see there, all crimes, any and all crimes to police officers. All I yeah. see on Twitter, if you ever had any doubt as to the social media bias, it is not. First off, if you type in Black Lives Matter, they have three fists. Yeah. Three fists there. Uh, Twitter has huh? decided that they want to toss their lot in with them. And you can't find anything regarding David Dorn. You can't find most of the trends. I think White Lives Matter was trending for a little bit, which, yeah. again, I, 
not on board with white lives matter, yeah. black lives matter. I just want rule of law to matter, and I want yeah. people to not be shot. Constitutional rights matter. What does that mean? That means that you have the right to life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. The police do not have the right to accost you, to invade your personal space, to invade your privacy. They do not have the right to abuse authority that has not been delegated to them. And as a citizen, you have the right to protect yourself with weapons. Yes, even the scary semi-automatics against looters and rioters. That's what matters. Whether you are black, white, red, yellow, Z, take your pick. Yeah. I don't care. But there are a lot of black officers. There are more right now than ever, uh, I believe, in American history. And no one talks about them. Yeah, absolutely. There's another officer killed. It was um, uh, Patrick Underwood. Yeah. Do you remember his name, folks? Do you know his name? Any name for Patrick Underwood? Do you think Patrick Underwood might even support some of the, 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 the protesters out there before it went to looting? Do you think Patrick Underwood might have been a useful useful voice in reform? If you want reform, don't you want the black officers out there on your side, but you're shooting them dead for an LG, you son of a bitch. I hope you fry. Yeah. I hope you fry. YouTube, you want to get pissed at this? I hope that you get lethal injection. And you've heard me say, I don't really care about capital punishment. Yeah. Whatever's the cheapest way to get rid of the trash. Yeah. But in this case, not in this case, it's not like it changes, but I'm just right, saying, I'm, no, I'm right. speaking a little emotionally here. I, Understandably I so. I think I've earned the right to do that because I don't always only speak emotionally, as we see on the left. Right. Yeah, I exactly. think the facts do matter. Um, and something else, too. Well, let, let me let me say this real quick. Oh, is that what? You, yeah, let me say. Could you see me this, getting yeah. upset? This is this is one of the one of the toughest videos I think that we've ever had to watch or yeah. that we've ever shown. And obviously, we've yeah. seen a series of very tough videos over the last. We few were days. very pissed about George Floyd. Yeah, very very pissed about that. But I my assumption was that they were genuine when they said that all lives matter, right, and Black lives matter, and that if we could only save one life, it, that's been the mantra right now. Where are the leaders in every community coming out and saying, stop rioting because people are dying in droves now? We've taken one death and turned it into tens or dozens. Yeah. Or when is it going to be hundreds of deaths? How many bodies does it take? Because Where you told me that we don't want any people dying. Yeah. And that's what we're all here for. We're trying to make sure that we can pr prevent that first one from going away. Life. It's a lot to have the pursuit of happiness and, and liberty. You have to have life first. Right? I don't want any innocent lives lost. I'll no, be really clear no, now. I, yeah, I understand. You invade someone's home. Yeah. Release the hounds, then the rounds. Why, yeah. why aren't they saying rioters? Stop. Did you say hounds? Do you mean racist? You're gonna put you're gonna put me next to a Hitler with a fake Bible side by side because he got yeah, MS Paint. You one. prick! Yeah. Come on. But I don't care. Listen, there's not a lot care. of words that rhyme with rounds, so you had to go it with something. True. This changes the scale, not just of the election, but of Americans understanding where we are. And now you have the overwhelming majority of Americans, the overwhelming support, I should say, to use the National Guard and even Donald Trump using the military, which is so yeah. interesting when you look at these polls. They say, oh, we don't really approve of Donald Trump's handling of the crisis. But then when you look at, do you support using the National Guard? Yes. Do you yeah. support using the military? Yes. And I think that you're seeing this with the polls. People are afraid to say, yeah. yeah, I support Donald Trump because people have accused him of being racist. But when you look on the individual issues, I was very surprised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was very su surprised to see yeah. that most Americans believe in using the National Guard. Because if you watch them, mm -hmm. that means that Americans are making this decision in spite of yeah. ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC, every place not named Fox News. And it means that YouTube is going to crack down even more on borderline content like yeah. this because they want to make sure that the big boys have, uh, they want to make sure they get in the express yeah. lane. 12 items or less, or a budget of three to $18 billion, as you provided know. that you yeah. broadcast from uh, <laughs> Turner's Bison Farm. Well, yeah, yeah this, this David Dorn thing shows that it's, nev it's not about black and white. It really is about power. Right. So David Dorn, yeah. or if he's standing in front of a store trying to protect it, he's perceived as having some amount of, you know, if he owns the business or if he's a cop, he is perceived as being the overlord and they're the underdogs yeah. trying to fight it. He's the right. enemy. But yeah, but, but if you can pretend it's about all, you can pretend it's about black and white, but really it's about Marxism. It's about power inequities and people are trying to even those out by murder, which right. is, which is, yeah, that's exactly well, what it is. That is, that is, that is cold-blooded murder. By the way, hit right, the notification yeah. bell if you're on YouTube because subscriptions don't mean a lot. Hit all notifications. You can subscribe to Crowder Bits. We're available on Spotify, iTunes, all that. Please do consider uh, joining Mug Club because we don't make money off of this YouTube channel and this is the only way that we can do the job the media won't. Yeah. Let me tell you this. George Floyd was, and I'm about to say something that I know is going to piss some people off. Don't really care anymore. Uh, George Floyd, not that I really ever did. I hate I was about to say, yeah. you I don't care anymore. I'm going to tell the list. You're pretty yeah. much about to get the same, only my heart's going like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Both that, because of that video that and the sauna. sauna. Yeah, the sauna, sauna sure. this morning. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Rogan. Um, George Floyd was terrible. Uh, 
This is a war strategy. Hmm. All lives lost matter. Every life is precious. Every life yeah. has the same amount of yeah. value intrinsically. I want to be clear about that, okay? However, there is a difference, let's say, uh, someone being caught, to use two scenarios, in crossfire, right? In crossfire between a gang shooting and someone is shot. That's different from somebody invading someone's home, sticking a gun to their gut and shooting them. Yeah. Right? That is different. And that's important to know. George Floyd should not have, he died in the care of a police officer. That shouldn't have happened. Now, was he killed by the police officer? The report right now says likely not. It wasn't from a knee on the neck. There was no sign of injury in the neck. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't choked. The guy did have high blood pressure. He had heart disease like we yeah. talked yeah. about. Well, there have been a couple of autopsies that have had mixed results, but yeah. It, right. Yeah. It's, uh, That's true. Well, and, and we're not taking away the responsibility of the police. Well, there, are, there have been all. mixed results, but there haven't been, there's agreement on he had heart conditions, he had yeah. high blood pressure, he was on drugs, okay? Yeah. Doesn't mean that he should have, in other words, it's the police, police's job not only to arrest you, but to protect you. Yeah. yeah. It is their to job to yeah. try and help you if you are sick. Serve they can arrest you, get you in the car, and I know they couldn't get him in the car because he was resistant resisting arrest. But my point is, that is a horrible scenario. Terrible. But it's not the same as this man being killed. One is an example of a police officer who is, I don't think he went out and said, I'm going to lynch me a black today, despite the fact that that's what, that's what the critics that want you to Maxine believe, because Waters, they want to yeah, go out yeah. and they want, Maxine, to, they, yeah. they want to justify right now all of their accounts of first degree murder, second degree murder in this case. It's manslaughter. I think the guy was careless. I mm -hmm. think the guy had reckless disregard for someone's life and that is wrong with the police. Now, do I think that that's racist? It could have easily been anybody. In this case, maybe it is. We'll find out more about Shabbat. Yeah. It, it, it shouldn't be a controversial statement to say that murder is worse than manslaughter. It shouldn't be a controversial <laughs> no, but, statement. Yeah. But it is. Murder it is. is worse yeah. than yeah. manslaughter. And, and we've seen tapes of both of those things happening. And context matters. Listen, Shouldn't have died, but when you look at George Floyd, the man was a violent offender who did five years. Why? He broke and entered. He faked like he was part of the, uh, I believe, a water company or gas company. Yep. When, when a lady who lived in the house tried to close the door, he shoved a pistol in her gut and with five other armed thugs looted. Did five years. But he was turning his life around. No, then he was resisting arrest and there were drugs in his system. None of this means that he should have died. But it does add wrinkles to where there might be a struggle, where there might be chaos. That's different from someone consciously shooting someone for a television set. Yeah. That is worse to me. Now, you want to say, well, it's about systemic racism. Well, you know what? Black cop died, too. So we yeah. can apply that to both. Yeah, exactly. One is murder. One is manslaughter. And, and have I missed anything? Has there been any evidence that's come out that says that the police officer was a racist or that this was racially motivated in any way? This police officer? No, the police officer that uh, that killed Chauvin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. No, I haven't seen that at all. I mean, you can make the claim that's fine. I just haven't seen anything that says yeah. it's, it's a racist white cop that killed a well, black if, yeah. man. If you hear right? a I haven't report, seen that. if you hear a report on the news and it's a cop who killed somebody, and you're waiting to hear what what color everybody was to figure out how you're supposed to feel about this, right? You're the enemy. You're doing like you're, the you're, wrong. You're in yeah. the wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> David Dorn, Patrick Underwood. How about how about we get yeah. this hashtag trending? Hashtag Black Cops Matter. Hashtag Black Cops Matter. I want to see everyone using this out there because I yeah. want them to know that we support them. Not only white guys, not only a bunch of privileged folks or quarter black people, but black people. Why'd you point me for privilege? Because <laughs> you're very white. <laughs> Jeez. Privilege, man. When they when people have neo-Nazi nightmares, they, they picture you. Yeah. They don't think of me. They picture you just at no. an armband. <laughs> no. no. Tall, blonde, no. blue eyes. Oh, yeah, well, you, you know yeah. you're making a point. Six four. <laughs> Played at Notre yeah. Dame. Uh, traditionally white Couldn't go to Alabama, yeah. could you? We know what's happening I there. I could have, yeah. but I didn't want to. I know to. you could have. I hate the 